Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. I just thought I would give you a better scene today. It's beautiful outside and my goats are behind me so you get to enjoy a little bit of farm life with me today. Um, you can see four boar goats out there, um, the four moms and then the little one I got left, a, a little baby there, the black and white one. He's a, his name is Owen. So hopefully they'll stay there throughout the video so you can look at them and enjoy the scenery as I talk about stop the insanity. How many of you are working 12, 18 hours a day between trying to build your online business, trying to still work because you can't stop working if you're not making enough money to quit. Everybody starts that way. They start part time. That's just the way it is. Um, how many hours a day are you putting in? Is it 12, 15, 18? Are you finding that every time, every day, you get a free moment, you're sitting in front of the computer? Tell me below, say yes, yes, that's me. Because I really want to see how many people are doing that. I just wanted to give you a few tips today to help you get some balance um, because you're going to kill yourself if you keep doing that. And I don't think any amount of money is worth giving up your life now and not enjoying your present while you're trying to build for the future. Does that make sense? And I know I'm telling you this because I've been there. I just kept on, you know, every day I was sitting in front of the computer, sitting in front of the computer. And, and I think in my mind, I was thinking the longer I sit here and the more I do, the faster that I'm going to get that um, opportunity to quit my job and do this full time and be able to make enough money. And I, while I, I know that day will be here, I haven't quit my job yet. I still work full time. Um, I have decided that I'm still going to live my life and be present in the life that I have. So I have, I sat down and I just really made a schedule for when I work my full time job. I'm blessed. I get to work from home for that. But then on the outskirts of that, when I work my business, I put in X amount of hours and I've picked very um, strategic times. I was very intentional about when I'm going to work so that I'm not ignoring my family and I'm not, I didn't stop cleaning my house. I didn't stop doing everything that I do, I'm supposed to be doing to live. I have seen people get on here with videos um, where they have shared that they literally just stopped cleaning the house and stopped taking care of the kids and it was just insane. I'm just using that, that's why that's in the title, but it just became insane that they were so driven to be successful. And that's great if in the end they were making a million dollars within a year, but is it worth it? Um, don't give up your now for your future is what I'm telling you. Um, if it takes you six years to financially be able to quit your job and do your online job full time and you were able to be present for your family, then I highly recommend you do that. Um, is it really worth it? If you lose a couple years with everybody and then do it then and then you're gonna be burnt out. So I can't stress enough how you need to, to stop and make sure that you're scheduling your workload so that it makes sense and that you're not giving up that time. Um, other things that I, I think that people don't think about, when you're building a business and you're, you're making sure your lifestyle business is in order and you have those goals, don't forget about your healthy lifestyle. Don't forget about your family and, th and, your, and things like that. So in another video, I talked about having grit and making goals. And one of the areas that I would like you to write down are making goals in your life as well. Like chores, like I, if you can't think about this, if your house is falling apart and your house isn't in order per se, how can you expect your business to be in order if your house isn't in order? How can you expect your business to be in order if your life isn't in order? How can you expect your business to be in order if your relationships aren't in order? So think about that. You can't have one and let everything else fall apart. There has to be a balance in everything. And I know Danny Johnson talks about that a lot, um, about she, that's when her business turned around, when she started putting her house in order. She said, I was working so hard that, and putting in so many hours that my entire family and my house was falling apart. She said, my husband and I were even on the verge, we were just like fighting all the time. The kids were, you know, everything was out of control. And she said, when I stopped and I put everything in order, Order, that's when my business really started to flourish because it, it became balanced and I wasn't putting all my work into one area. So each of you, you need to look at your own 
life and where you're putting your time and where you're putting your priorities and make sure there's a balance. Don't let something that's someone or something that's near and dear to you fall apart just for the sake of earning money. Because think about it, if you make a million dollars, sure, for a while, it'll be fun, you can get everything you want. But after a while, people that make lots of money, they'll tell you that, that the, the joy of it wears off. It becomes second nature and it isn't what you expect after that. You're always searching for something more. So keep what you have so that you're not searching to get that back, if that makes sense. All right, that was my tip for today. I just want you to look at the balance of your life. Stop the insanity. Stop working those 18 hours a day because all it's going to do is burn you out and it's going to cost you your health. It might cost you your relationships. It might Your house might fall apart in, in, in disarray because you're not taking care of it. Um, be intentional. Um, in that other video I talked about grit and, and I stands for be intentional. Be intentional about all of those things when you make your goals so that you can have balance in your life and as you when when that day comes and you can quit your job you're going to do it with joy and you're not going to sit there and say gosh I'm I'm so burnt out I can't even enjoy this and 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 it doesn't mean anything so really sit down and map out everything in your life or everything in your week and just leave that time for rest and for relationships and you know for taking care of business uh, taking care of your finances make sure everything is balanced and you might say but there's too much there's you have 24 hours just like the rest of us we all have it we all make those decisions where we want to spend our time and you can do it too and these people that have made millions and they've become very successful they're just like you they just made different decisions than you've made and that's why they are there and you are where you're at and that's it but it doesn't mean you can't get there it just means that you have to have that balance and not burn yourself out. All right, my goats are gone. You lost your scenery. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. All right, until the next video, go ahead and um, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful, and I will see you on the next video.